do you leave someone you know isn't good for you, but you love them so much? We was just, I was like, we were just talking about that. Then leave. Honestly, I feel like this question is so um, relatable to circumstantial. I feel like every woman. When or man, me, yeah, or man. It's just about what your personal breaking point is. You yeah, feel what I'm literally, saying? Literally, that's and what I'm saying. More often than not, you could have been through X, Y, and Z through this man or woman, and they did this and they did that. But it be the smaller thing that happened that just finally just make you put the your hands up and, your and be like, back. "Yeah, I said that earlier." Yeah, we mean, repeating each other yeah. off this topic. But what's yeah, because it's, it's, it's so it's, real. I like this from like experience with my my siblings when. When they go through stuff where they sleep in others and they stick by them, I'm like, listen, bitch, when you done, I'm done. Period. When you ready to leave them, we're going to leave them. I never, I don't try to force, unless. You're not judging. I'm, I don't try to judge, but that's another reason why I be so reluctant on relationships because of the stuff that I've seen other people close to me go through. That's why it's a lot, I, I be kind of like, I'm private. I, they really got to. If I introduce my significant other to my people, it's a thing to it. Bro, bring Juicy them heels. Facts. Them wedges. Who wedges? Facts. So it's just, it's it's like, and even now, I still be looking at them like, do I really, I'm like, I don't never want to go through that. But then again, I don't, it's a lot of shit that I don't allow. Like, you really, like, I'm I'm never, I'm not going to argue with you. You're but, not going to call me on my name. You're not going to disrespect but me. But how much are you, how much of it is you go to, like, I the, the question you know, was. I, the, how much, when, when is, um, when do you know you ready to leave someone? Be, yeah, like, well, and you love them. Like, it's, you Love really, is not supposed to hurt, period. stress you out, make say, you yeah, sick. Love don't do none of that. So, no. if, so if you're dealing with somebody and you're trying to figure out why to leave them, but you love them so much, you already got your answer. Because Literally. Love is not, love is not something that you leave. You feel me? So if that's what you're going through, love you're yourself not, enough to leave. Hello. Let's let's put let's lay it like that. You love, hell, but you don't. You don't love yourself. yourself. You I also love agree with Lana though when it comes down to that. That's like definitely one of those things that's easier said than done. It is, no, it definitely is for sure. Uh, because it'd be like you can't make nobody. You can't make no bitch leave that nigga. Yeah, and then you keep screaming. You love, 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 love. So at that but, point, but it's but like you, you said. When you oh, get yeah. to your breaking point, yeah, what is gonna be your high. breaking point? What is gonna be the straw that break your back? What is it? Nobody knows like, what they done. When, yeah, nobody knows until that thing happens. You gonna, it's going to be that moment where, like, you know what? Yeah, I can't do this no more. I'm straight. Like, yeah. And you're like, going to be like, I'm leaving. I'm done. I can't do this. You're going to get to that point where it's like, yeah, I'm straight. I'm super straight. But also, it's more like, I don't know, man. That 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 relationship shit, that love shit, mm-mm. You got to have, have a very strong loving relationship with yourself before you can even... Like, have somebody come in around you and love them equally. Because if you don't love you, how the hell you don't love somebody else? Period. And exactly. I love me. Say that. Say that, Juicy. I've been in a relationship with myself for 30 years. How the fuck years. you go do something? How you going to show somebody something you ain't even got? If I let somebody come in our life Hello. and fuck up our relationship. Sometimes yeah. I got myself in there like, why is you letting this nigga play you like that? Like, this how we doing it? And then I got all right, child. So when I think about every situation that I didn't been in up until my man now, I literally be disgusted with myself. Like how? Like, but and I why? also, I also like a long time ago just made a vow to myself that I won't. You know, I never let another nigga play me. Yeah. I, you know what I'm saying? I never let another man talk to me no type of way, treat me no type of way. Really, if you don't treat me like a queen, fuck you. Oh, that's so cute. That if you don't want to kiss the ground that I walk on, appreciate, adore me. Okay. Do you hear me? Fuck yeah. But no, yeah, seriously, that, that's how now that's how you have to think. And there's so many women out here that think just that to get in the middle. A, a man love you. That's enough. Why are you in the middle? You. It look better like that. Please. Bitch, get in the middle. I was about to say, why you yeah. always gotta be difficult? Y'all know that's my thing. Why I gotta be a thing though? I mean, it's just me. <laughs> that's what you get. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. That's exactly so what you get. So to answer your question, girl, whoever asked that, um, that was the, the topic is. When how, do you know? Uh, how do you know when it's a good time to leave your man, but you love him? So oh, much. when everything he do irritates you. <laughs> oh, well, I love how she came in very know. easy. A uh, cut. It wasn't complicated for her at all. Well, everything he do irritates you because I be having days go. where everything that nigga do irritates you. Yeah, you need to leave. Or him or her. No, but like no. someday you, you might be, be on your period. You know, Some of those. I ain't got to see your period. Yeah. I would break up once a month. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's like twice a week. No. I would break up once a month. For real? Because like, so in we in a relationship. He just licked your pussy. You irritated. Man, you ain't even licking right. No. You, you, you tired of him. But no, 
Oh, no, nah, she. I was like, I don't think we was talking about that. No. But literally, they give me shit that I'm even doing. And he could call me and say, "What up?" And I say, "Hello, beautiful." So I'm like, "Click." You didn't. I don't like that. I don't want to talk to you for the rest. Nah, of the day. I ain't like how you call me beautiful today. Like, if I don't get a good Just morning, have to be if I don't get a good morning text sometimes, and I wake good. up in a foul mood. <laughs> Don't be having the men's this, okay? No, but for real, like, it's like, sometimes my I get in this. my moods where I just want to be, like, treated like a pretty, pretty princess. And too, I if I feel like, like, like you not... I always want to be treated like a princess. Okay. And that's the thing. I don't, not all the princesses. And that's the problem. That's why I'm talking to right now, because so the day you say you want to treat me like a princess, or you do something that's like, ooh, it's giving like you treat me like a little peasant, and now I have to leave. I, have to leave. <laughs> I need to abort this mission. And that's why I talk to you for three months. PTSD, I'm triggered. On that third month, they get to acting, they start to treat me like. That third month, niggas do get to acting like. They get comfortable. Yeah. They get to showing their true colors. And it's they like, get real uh -oh, comfortable uh -oh, around I'm leave. Because y'all. Yeah. yeah. Princess treatment only. But yeah. I thought I, I didn't want a man with kids, but I'm glad that my man has a daughter. Um. Cause I think it takes that, some of your time. It, it no, takes. I think that that he, helps a lot. Yeah. Like, Cause he with how he treat me. Yeah. He's really, oh, really yeah. good. To Cause me. as of that, but literally, so, my dad. Never, I know that's right. My dad that's told me that, that I'm a brat. he thinks that that's I why he that's got right. more and he got a spoiler because a man that has a daughter or daughters, not all the time, but a lot of times they are very metic like particular how they treat women because you have to show your daughter how to treat how to, how you're they're supposed to be treated. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't, she gonna run into a nigga that ain't shit, and you gonna be like, oh. We gonna run into that? them niggas regardless, but it's no, good but to have an know, example of what you have know, to. Oh, my daddy is. Yeah, I, like, that's not yeah. what I know. She's yeah. gonna know that. That's it's not good to have that me. example, that foundation. Because I don't have one. I don't know what to look for. But I said my daddy never even with us. He yelled at us and we cried. Like, like if he was a young man, I'd be like, all right, cool. I agree. My I daddy got, got my daddy I got. I ain't gonna lie. I just got a flu. I'm so oblivious. I really didn't. And I know, I've had an example, and I still be fucking with the fuck right? boy. Right? The fuck you boy. But my I do. To, my, my daddy's still I have an amazing father. father. Wouldn't try him for a thing in this world, and I be talking to the most ain't shit niggas. Why do you think I that mean, is? technically, you don't, you don't know your daddy would have been an ain't shit nigga before he got with your mama. My daddy is the greatest. He's, before he got with, no, before he got with your mama, he probably wasn't I, an shit I do find myself, like, curious what, um, what my, like, love life maybe would have been like. If you had a dad. If I had a dad. If you had an example of real. But, but if, if you had an example of real love, like with yeah. that real. Yeah, I watched my parents oh, be married I for 25 I know years. How so I I'm not. My relationship now is because I didn't really have an example of. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just how you're supposed to just operate. Like just yeah. um, selflessness, always having someone else in mind. Like their feelings yeah, of have compromise. To. Um, Loving someone how they love you, like that shit. And I mean, you right. sometimes forget to do that in a relationship. People not perfect. It 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 falls through the cracks right. sometimes. But yeah, you know, I, mean, I yeah. get reminded. Too. Mm -mm. I say all the time, look, boo, I'm still learning. Okay, <laughs> well, you gotta be patient with me. I'm still learning. I'm still learning how to do this. I'm learning how to not look. It be all about him. Yeah, I am. He asked me something the other day. I said, honestly, boo, you cannot ask. Um, Selfish advice from a selfish person. You what is like? Mm. And that's no, that's what being I say, honest. No, don't ask me nothing about a relationship from a single girl because I'm gonna tell you to cheat. I'm the wrong. I'm person. gonna tell you. You to wanna cheat. be like Terry? I need relationship advice. Bitch, I've been single five years. I'm not the one you get relationship advice from. Let's talk about some as soon well, as that I nigga irritates you. If you wanna you know go, what you then. don't want and what you're not gonna allow. So that's self love. You you always supposed to preach self love when you preach to someone relationship mm -hmm. because, like I said, if even no, though she's asking of, me should she cheat, and I'm like, yeah, dumbass girl. Okay. <laughs> Why wouldn't you? Yeah, um, um, dumbass girl. I'm trying to make a you know a good message out of it.